welcome in this video we are going to discuss the module test which was taken by the lumps jamshoro it is about the musculoskeletal module test there are total of 100 bcqs in this test so this video is going to be long so let's get started so on question number 1 we are having a a patient presents with a history of trauma and loss of abduction up to 15 degrees but when supported up to 15 degree abduction is normal which muscle is affected number a supraspinatus b infraspinatus c is deltoid d subscapularis or e teres major abduction up to 15 degree is supported by supraspinatus muscle So loss of uh, or paralysis of supraspinatus will lead to loss of abduction up to 15 degree. So A is the correct answer. Question number two, a 20 year old boy suffers from a fracture of femoral shaft as a result of an automobile accident. After the fracture or accident, supination is still possible through which of the following muscles? Supinator, prolator teres, brachioradialis, biceps brachii or supraspinatus. Since there is a fracture of uh, mid shaft of the femur or sorry humerus, so there is loss of radial nerve that supplies to the supinator muscle. So paralysis of supinator muscle, but supination is also produced by the bicep brachii, or we say bicep brachii. So bicep brachii is also the powerful supinator of forearm. Question number three: A young boy gets an injury in and hits. His anatomical snuff box, which artery is most likely to be damaged? Radial artery, ulnar artery, deep, deep interosseous artery, or deep ulnar arch, arcuate artery. The most common artery we are going to find in the snuff box or anatomical snuff box is a radial artery. A 18 year old boy falling off a motorbike represents with difficulty in moving his shoulder. His x ray reveals fracture of the surgical neck of him, him as the accident most likely. Leads to damage of which of the following arteries: axillary, profound brachii, posterior femoral circumflex, superior ulnar collateral, or scapular circumflex. In the fracture of, uh, or we say, in the fracture of the neck of the humerus, there is a damage to the posterior humeral circumflex artery. A person has a pain in the anterior part of the axilla, which radiates to the pectoral region. The doctor diagnoses that it is due to the tear of tendon of muscle keeping in view which of the following muscle is affected pectoralis minor pectoralis major subclavius lattice anterior or lattice mid it's a simple question and because the pectoralis minor attached has an attachment or origin from the coracoid process so a is the correct answer question number six during examination of a patient doctor observed that he has working in he has weakness in pushing the object and when the patient tries to push any object, his right escapula becomes prominent, which nerve of the brachial plexus is affected. Suprascapular nerve, lateral pectoral nerve, medial pectoral nerve, axillary nerve or long thoracic nerve. The protrusion of the scapula or the right scapula on the back when the person pushes against the wall is basically called winging of the scapula. This is due to the damage to the long thoracic nerve that causes the paralysis of serratus anterior muscles. Question number five, a boy falls from tree on his right shoulder brought in the emergency. He was unable to move his right arm which lies by side of the body. Immediately rotated, he also has an inability to extend his hand. After examination of patient, it was observed that part of the brachial plexus is damaged. Which of the following is that? Posterior cord, medial cord, lateral cord or upper trunk or lower trunk? Since the arm, a person was unable to move right arm or there is no loss of abduction that causes the or we can right arm to lie side of, either side of the body and there is a medial rotation of the arm, we can diagnose it as a Erb's palsy in which there is a damage of upper trunk of brachial plexus. After a rod accident, the patient is unable to extend the wrist but there is a weak extension at the elbow. Mention the level of radial nerve damage. At elbow, at forearm, at middle arm, in the radial groove, at axilla or at wrist. Person is unable to extend the wrist, so there are the there is a loss of sensation or the loss of motor control towards the extensor of the forearm. So the likely damage is at the mid shaft of the humerus in the radial groove. 
moving to, toward question number nine in a group discussion keeping the x-ray of uh, shoulder showing fracture of the surgical neck of femur sorry femur x-ray talking student talking about the possible effects of fractures which of the following nerve is more affected in this case medial nerve ulnar nerve muscular cutaneous nerve radial nerve or axillary nerve So in the fracture of the surgical neck of the humerus, there is al always remember that there is a damage of the axillary nerve because the whole area is supplied by the axillary nerve. So damage to this area can cause lead to paralysis of deltoid as well as teres minor muscle. Question number 10. A man aged 35 years after sternus exercise at gym feels loss of sensation at lateral border of the forearm. Which of the following, which is supplied by the muscular cutaneous nerve? Which of the following muscle is supplied by this nerve? Bicep brachii, brachialis, coracobrachialis, protonacoronate arteries, flexor carpi ulnaris. As you can see that the muscular cutaneous nerve supplies the bicep brachii as well as the brachialis or and coracobrachialis. So there is an error in this question. So leave it. So let's go to the question number 11. A general practitioner am examining the patient when When, when he checks his pulse, he feels ab abnormal rhythm. Which of the following arteries is commonly used for checking pulse? A. Brachial artery, ulnar artery, radial artery, profunda brachii artery, or the interosseous artery. So most common artery that is used for the pulse, or we can say for the pulse at the wrist, is the radial artery. Question number 12. A person visits doctors for for complaint of swelling and pain at the wrist, weakness of thinner muscles and loss of sensation on the center of the wrist. At what level the median nerve is damaged or compressed? At the mid of the arm, at the elbow, beneath, between the heads of brunette theories, between superficial and deep flexor tendons, deep to flexor nacula. So when there is a swelling and pain at the wrist and there is a weakness of the thinner muscle, we diagnose it as a case of a carpal tunnel syndrome in which there is the damage of to the or the compression of the median nerve in the flexor retinaculum. Question number 14 says a 14 year old boy falls on his out straight hand and a fracture of his scaphoid bone. The fracture is most likely accompanied by the rupture of each of the following artery. Brachial artery, ulnar artery, deep palmar arterial arch or radial artery or prince Paulis's artery. Fracture of scaphoid bone that lead, can lead to the damage of or rupture of radial artery. Question number 15 says a young boy aged patient is, is in automobile accident has crushed the proximal row of carpal bones. Which of the following bones are damaged? Septet, trachyotrium, hamet, trapezium, trapezoid. Since there is a fracture of the proximal row of carpal bone, the trachyotrium is basically included in proximal carpal bones, while the other bones which include trapezium, hamet, Capitate and trapezoid are in distal row. Question number 16 says a 20 year, 29 year old patient comes to the hospital has a more has a tear rotator cuff of shoulder joint as the result of an automobile accident. Which of the following muscle tendon is intact and has normal function? Supraspinatus, subscapularis, teres major, teres minor, or infraspinatus. When there is a damage of the rotator cuff of the shoulder, remember that the teres major is not included in the rotator cuff muscles. Now, question number 17 says, following a motor car accident, a patient ex exhibited atrophy of serratus anterior muscle, which could lead to, due, which is due to injury to which of the following nerve? Dorsal scapular, thoracodorsal nerve, spinal accessory nerve, long thoracic nerve, or axillary nerve. This is the case of ringing of the scapula in which there is a paralysis or atrophy of the serratus anterior, anterior that is due to the damage to the nerve that is called long thoracic nerve. Coming to other questions which include a patient come to the hospital with complaint of inability to flex the distal phalanx of the fourth and fifth digits of the hand would, which would in, indicate damage to which of the following nerve, radial nerve, median nerve, anterior interosseous nerve, posterior interosseous or ulnar nerve. Since there is a loss of sensation to the fourth and fifth digit, there is a loss of uh, flexion at the distal phalanx of the fourth and fifth digits. 
which is supplied by the ulnar nerve so they, they, due to damage of ulnar nerve that leads to paralysis of flexion and the fourth and fifth medic or carpus question number 19 and an uh, old man comes to the emergency department with a penetrating wound in the axilla that injured posterior cord of the brachial plexus it would parasite or paralyze the which of the following muscle bicep brachii quadrabrachialis deltoid flexor carpi ulnaris that flexor digitorum Damage to the posterior cord of the brachial plexus lead, can lead to the damage of the axillary nerve as well because the axillary nerve is a branch of the posterior cord of the brachial plexus. So deltoid muscle basically is supplied by the posterior cord or we say the axillary nerve which due to the damage to the posterior cord of the brachial plexus would be paralyzed in this case. Question number 20, a 16 year old man with a history of anemia to obtain blood sample from a patient, median cubital vein is a nurse in advertently procure arterial blood. The blood must come from which of the following arteries, brachial, radial, ulnar, common interosseous, superior, ulnar, collateral. At the level of a median cubital vein, the brachial artery is not divided into ulnar or radial arteries. So, damage to the this lead to the damage to the brachial artery because the brachial artery divides at the level of coronoid process of ulna now question number 21 says a 45 year old man come, woman came to the surgical opd with a complaint of lump in the right breast on examination lump was diagnosed as a breast cancer lymph from cancerous breast trans primarily into which of the following nodes anterior axillary nodes apical nodes interthoracic nodes so internal thoracic nodes, supraclavicular nodes or nodes of the anterior abdominal wall. Drainage of the lymph from the breast is basically the job of the anterior axillary nodes or we say pectoral nodes. Question number 22 says a person will have significant clawing of the fourth and fifth digits second due to nerve injury weakness of which of the following muscle cause these symptoms. Lumbricals, flexor digitorum superficialis, dorsal interosseous, flexor digitiminimi opponent's policies so clawing of hand is due to the damage to the lumbricals because in claw there is a hyperflexion of the distal phalanx or distal interphalangeal joint and there is a hyper extension of the proximal interphalangeal joints which is due to the paralysis of lumbricals now question number 23 says the histopathic pathologist was examining a applied under the microscope the specimen showed short fusiform cells with centrally located nucleus and no striations the types of the muscle does it contain indicates cardiac muscle skeletal muscle smooth muscle smooth and cardiac or skeletal and smooth muscle so it's easy to identify because these are the fusiform shape which have single centrally nucleated centrally located nucleus so these are the smooth muscle cells while describing the feature of the feature the teacher told the student the type of secretion the spatial gland have Epocrine, mirocrine, holocrine, ecrine, or paracrine. So sebaceous gland has basically the holocrine mode of secretion because the whole cell is destroyed or whole cell is secreted is a secretion on the apical surface. Now question number 25 says that 25 year old male was diagnosed with the basal cell carcinoma of his skin. Which layer of his skin has affected the most? Dermis, epidermis, stratum corneum, stratum basalis, stratum granulosum. Since the, in the question it is said with that the basal there is a basal cell carcinoma, so the stratum basalis is basically mostly affected in this case. Moving to our question number 30, 26, 25 year old female came with a complaint of pain in rapid muscle fatigue upon voluntary movements and was diagnosed with a case of myasthenia gravis. These the smooth, skeletal muscle, which of the following feature will differentiate? Skeletal muscle from smooth muscle and cardiac muscles. Intercalated disc, single single central nucleus, fusiform shaped cells, short branch fibers, or prominent cross striations. So skeletal muscles are basically differentiated from cardiac muscle based on the prominent presence of prominent cross striations. Although the cross striation or striation are present in both cardiac and smooth muscle, but these are prominent more more prominent in the skeletal muscles. 29, 27 says a young non-pregnant female of a reproductive age presented the clinic with swelling in the right sided breast. On examination, the skin around the nipple was red, scaly, and inflamed. The doctor suggested invasive carcinoma. 
the independent breast tubes consist of or independent breast lobes consist of simple tubular gland compound tubular gland compound tubular acinar gland compound acinar gland or straight gland so the the breast is a example or a mammary gland is an example of compound acinar gland Question number 28. In his in histology lab, one of the students observed a slide composed almost entirely of distant acina with a white secretion. There was thinning of the septa between the lobules. The diagnosis was made was breast during pregnancy, lactiferous sinus, terminal ducts, lactating breast, or lact breast carcinoma. Since they, these are entirely distant, they are presence of uh, ACNI in this slide with the whitish secretion that probably would be the milk. So it the diagnosis can be made of the, the slide is identified as terminal ducts. Chondroblasts are responsible for synthesis of cartilage matrix. The matrix in elastic cartilage contains bundle of collagen fiber, elastin fiber, fibrous cartilage or smooth muscle or skeletal muscle. Since the name indicates that these are the elastic cartilage, so elastic fibers would be the most abundant in these type of cartilages. A 20 year old male present with a difficulty in flex and medially rotates the thigh. Which of the following muscle is more likely damaged in this case? Rectus femoris, tensofacial atom, bestus intermedius, thermic amronasus, or sartorius. Since the person is unable to flex and medially rotate the thigh, there is a damage to the muscle which is tensor fascia lata which is involved in flexing and medially rotating the thigh while the sartorius is flexing the thigh but is lateral rotator of the thigh while other are the flexor only now 31 says the patellar reflex is reduced in the 40 year old diabetic patient female due to insufficient blood supply of a lower limb nerves the tendon of which of the following muscle is straight during the patellar reflex quadriceps femoris quadriceps fem quadriceps femoris or sartorius pectineus bicep femoris so it is easy because the patella in patella reflex there is a attach on the patella there is attachment of the tendon from the quadriceps femoris. 32 says in preparing to locate the femoral artery in the adductor, adductor canal the surgeon separated it from the surrounding structure which structure lies deeper to the artery in the adductor canal femoral nerve obturator nerve saphenous nerve femoral vein or carotid saphenous vein Remember that the femoral nerve is more superficial to the femoral artery and deep to the femoral artery is the femoral vein. Although the great saphenous and other form of nerve in the artery and vein are not included in the adductor canal or they are lie superficially to it. Question number 33 says X-ray scan of the football player reveals an avulsion of the laser to enter of the femur. Severe reflex contraction of which of the following muscle would most likely cause this type of injury gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, gluteus minimus, pyriformis, or sauce major. So, there is a fracture of or the avulsion fracture of lesser trochanter of the femur. So, we need to see the muscles that attach to the lesser trochanter of femur. These include sauce major muscle. Moving toward other, other questions 34 says the young male patient following a raid or a road traffic accident prevents with the loss of a skin sensation paralysis of muscles on the plantar aspect of the medial side of the foot which of the following nerve is damaged common peroneal, peroneal nerve tibial nerve deep peroneal nerve or sural nerve or say superficial peroneal nerve so the sensory or the sensation on the plantar aspect on the medial side of the foot is supplied by the branch of the medial plantar nerve which is branch of the tibial nerve so 35 says middle aged female patient fell from a stairs presented with a battling gait with the pelvis falling one on one side during walking which of the following muscles are affected obturator internus externus gluteus medius minimus gluteus maximus tens fasciolitis superior and inferior gemelli and also piriformis and quadratus femoris So the support of the pelvis during walking is is occurred by the is supported by the two muscles which are gluteus medius and gluteus maximus. So paralysis of these muscles due to the injury to the superior gluteal nerve can cause the person to walk with a winding gait. 
Number 36 says primary school teacher is unable to invert her right foot after she caught injury on her right leg while coming back from home or home from school. Which of the following nerves is most likely damaged? Injured. Femoral nerve, obturated nerve, deep peroneal nerve, septinous nerve, or superficial peroneal nerve. So person or the patient is unable to invert her right foot. So they is, put, they is probably damaged to the or the paralysis of the muscles that invert the foot. These include tibialis, anterior and tibialis posteriors. So in these options, we can see the deep peroneal nerve supplies the tibialis anterior muscle. An old man is unable to unlock the knee joint to permit flexion of the leg. Which of the following muscle is damaged? Rectus femoris, popliteus, quadratus femoris, femi membranosus, or gastrocnemius. So, unlocking of the knee during walking or any form of activity is, is a job of popliteus muscle. A patient present in medical OPD with sensory loss of adjacent side of the toe, big toe, and second toe. Which nerve is involved? Tibial nerve, sural nerve, deep peroneal nerve, superficial peroneal nerve, or saphenous nerve? So the sensory sensation or we say sensory supply to the adjacent side of the big toe and the second toe on the dorsal aspect of the foot is supplied by the deep peroneal nerve. 39 says a support man present in orthopedic clinic and is unable to perform eversion of foot. Which of the following muscle is powerful everter of foot? Peroneus tertius, peroneus longus, peroneus brevis, gastrocnemius soleus. In this case, peroneus Brevis is basically the powerful everter. A person is unable to prevent anterior displacement of femur on the tibia, which knee when knee is flexed, which of the following ligament is damaged. Anterior cruciate, posterior cruciate, fibral, fibular, collateral, tibial collateral, or patellar ligament. So there is an anterior displacement of the femur on tibia. So there is a damage to the posterior cruciate ligament. 41 says a post patient has been given an intramuscular injection and after major surgery into gluteal region to avoid damage to the underlying structures which are the following muscle of the gluteal region is preferred for intramuscular injection. Gluteus maximus, gluteus minimus, gluteus medius, tensor fascial artery or pyriformis. So IM injection on the gluteal region is basically in or is basically done into the gluteus medius muscle. Because if we are going to give a IM injection in the gluteus maximus, it will lead to damage to the sciatic nerve, which lies just deep to it. So, moving toward question number 42, an old man cannot flex immediately rotate thigh while running and climbing, which are the following muscles is damaged. Pyroformis gluteus maximus, tensor fascial artery, semimembranous sartorius. This is the same question but with a different wording. So, there is a also loss of flexion and medially rotation of the thigh, so the damage of the tensor fascial artery. Question number 45 says or 43 says an old woman underwent hip replacement surgery and during surgery doctors noticed a vascular necrosis of femoral head which of the following arteries is involved medial femoral circumflex lateral femoral circumflex obturator artery superior gluteal artery or inferior gluteal artery so medial Femoral circumflex artery is basically the artery which supplied or which give branches to the femoral head and neck. So damage to this artery or occlusion of this artery can lead to a vascular necrosis of femoral head. Although the lateral femoral circumflex also gives some branches but the majority of the blood is supplied by the medial circumflex via the retinacular arteries. These retinacular arteries are the branches of medial femoral circumflex. Now 44 says labor fell from the height and experienced paralysis of muscle that originates from femur and contributes to the stability of knee joint which of the following muscle is involved number a sartorius semimembranous vastimphilialis rectus femoris or gracilis so in this we can see a single muscle that is originating from the femur and contributing to the stability to the knee joint is the vastus medialis while other muscles are called hamstring muscle which crosses two joints at a time so, question number 45 says a cardiac patient came to the hospital during coronary bypass surgery surgeon and great surgeon used great saphenous vein as a graph he observed that the great saphenous vein runs 
posterior to medial malleolus, anterior to medial, medial malleolus, anterior to lateral malleolus, posterior to lateral malleolus, or posterior to calcaneus. Remember that the great saphenous vein runs anterior to the medial malleolus and is superficial not, or vein of the foot as well as whole upper limb, lower limb. 46 says a basketball player falls on the ground and unable to flex hip joint and extend knee joint. Which of the following muscle is involved? Rectus femoris, semi membranous, sartorius gracilis, obturator experts. As we know that the rectus femoris is basically the major flexor of the thigh as well as major extender of the knee joint. So A is the correct answer. 47 says housewife fell from a stairs and fractured greater quanter of the femur. Which of the following muscle would function normally? Pariformis, obturator internus, obturator externus, gluteus medius, gluteus maximus. There is a damage of the greater trochanter of the femur which gives attachment to pariformis, obturator externus, internus and gluteus medius but there is no attachment of gluteus maximus towards the greater trochanter so gluteus maximus is correct answer here because the gluteus maximus has two attachments one is on the gluteal tuberosity on the fem shaft of the femur another is on the iliotibial tract now what you said an old main presented with the postules on the posterior lateral aspect of the leg Posterior lateral aspect of leg is drained by popliteal lymph nodes, vertical group of inguinal lymph nodes, medial group of in inguinal lymph nodes, lateral group of inguinal lymph nodes, or external iliac nodes. So, posterior lateral aspect of the leg is drained by the popliteal lymph nodes because lymph follows the course of the superficial veins of the lower, lower limb, such as the great saphenous runs medially while the lymph node from the medial side of the leg will drain into directly into the inguinal lymph node while lymph on the lateral side which follows the course of small saphenous will drain into the popliteal lymph nodes. Foot 9 says a golf player call, came to orthopedic surgeon with a complaint of pain on moving right foot. X-ray examination revealed that the posterior tibial, tibial fibular ligament of a distal tibial fibular joint is torn. What is, what is the type of a distal tibial fibular joint? Synovial plane, synovial hinge, cartilaginous, syndesmosis, or fibrous. So, distal tibiofibular ligament or distal tibiofibular joint is basically a type of syndesmosis, which is, bit, which is between the two bones and is joined by the interosseous nerve or interosseous membrane. 50 says, 8 year old girl stands on her tiptoes to see on the other side of the wall which nerve is responsible for performing this action. Femoral nerve, obturator nerve, superficial peroneal nerve, deep peroneal nerve, or tibial nerve. So basically, this action is called the plantar flexion. Plantar flexion is done by the posterior posterior muscles of the leg or posterior compartment of the leg. Muscle present in the posterior compartment of the leg. These are supplied by the tibial nerve. 51 says a young girl came to the surgical operating in evening with a complaint of abdominal pain. Doctor examined the patient and observed swelling located below and lateral to the pubic tubercle, which was the mostly likely diagnosis. Inguinal hernia, femoral hernia, saphenous vein, femoral aneurysm, enlarged inguinal lymph nodes. So the patient is a girl and there is a basically there is a swelling at the medial and let, medial side of the thigh and lateral that is lateral to the pubic tubercle. The mo mostly likely diagnosis of femoral hernia is made. Motorcyclist complained of loss of sensation over the posterior lateral aspect of his leg, right leg, and lateral side of the foot after he met a minor accident. Which nerve is involved? Sural nerve, saphenous nerve, medial plantar, lateral plantar, or medial calcinian nerve? Remember that the lateral side of the foot, as well as posterior lateral side of the leg, is supplied by the by the sural nerve. So the sensory information or sensory innervation is supplied by the Pural nerve to these areas. 53 said a football player during match fell and his right ankle joint was medially dislocated. Which ligament of the ankle joint acts to resist over inversion? Medial ligament, anterior tibial, tibiotalar ligament, anterior tibiofibular ligament, tibiocalcinian ligament, transverse, inferior tibiofibular ligament. Over inversion is basically resisted by the 
lateral or we say lateral ligaments of the ankle joint these include the tibiofibular ligament sorry talofibular ligament so 54 says which of the following drug is uric or suricuric for the treatment of gout allopurinol fibapsistate cochinsin aspirin probensit Uricosuric drug for the gout treatment of the gout is basically prevention and it in include another drug that is sulfaparazinamide. Question number 55 says the drug used for treatment of acute gout, Cochinson, Provencid, Aliparinol, Pepexistate, Sulfanal, Pyrazone. Treatment of acute gout is made by the Colchinson. Which of the following drug is lanthine oxidase inhibitor? Aspirin, Indomethacin, Provencid, Aliparinol or Colchinson. Xanthine oxidase inhibitor is, is the drug that is allopurinol that reversibly binds to the xanthine oxidase and causes the decrease in the synthesis of uric acid. Drug which is used to decrease synthesis of uric acid is sulfonylpyrazone, fibroxylate, colchinsin, aspirin, or propenacid. So, the synthesis of uric acid is also decreased by the fibroxylate. Allopurinol and fibroxylate are involved in reversely inhibiting the enzyme xanthine oxidase. The drug which inhibits the migration of leukocytes, the site of inflammation is sulfapyranosone, fibroxylate, provincid, allopurinol, or colchinsin. Colchinsin is basically used for the acute treatment of the gout and is involved in inhibiting the migration of leukocytes, which non depolarizing neuromuscular blocker can break down into large enzymes that can cause seizures. Mevacurium, rocurium or atraracurium, vicuronium or pancurinium. So drug with that, that is a non-depolarizing and can be broken down into large enzymes that can cause seizures is basically at atracurium and is mostly used for in the surgical treatments. Which of the following intrauterine period is most susceptible for teratogen induced limb deformities? First and second, second and third, third and fourth, fourth and fifth, fifth and sixth. Since the development of the limbs is started in the week of fourth and fifth, so any insult or teratogenic insult in this in this time period can lead to the limb deformities. Question number 61 says during its skeletal muscle contraction, calcium is released from the sarcoplasmic reticulum by Sliding of the active filament, initiation of the contraction, binding of the cross bridges, uncovering of active site, or initiation of action potential. So the during muscle contraction, basically calcium is released from the sarcoplasmic reticulum on the arrival of the action potential. Going to question number 62, it says that the term power stroke during skeletal muscle contraction refers to cleavage of ATP, binding of calcium troponin C, release of ADP, tilting of mycin head or sliding of actin filament. So power stroke is basically the sliding movement of the actin filament that is caused by the contraction of the mycin head. Although the tilting of mycin head will confuse here most of the students because the tilting of the mycin head is done before the contraction of the muscle or before the binding of the myosin head to the actin filament or there is no cross bridge formation when there is a tilting of myosin head. Sliding of actin filament is caused by power stroke. Question number 63 says acetylcholine aromotor end plate is a synthesized in postsynaptic cell, a synthesized by enzyme choline stress, is integrated enzyme by carbonic anhydrase, it is stored in granules and presynaptic terminal is released due to influx of sodium ions. So acetylcholine basically these are the neurotransmitter and is stored in the granules in the presynaptic neuron. Question number 64 says feature of contractile protein myosin R myosin filaments have four head heavy and two light chains. Tropon myosin covers the active side of the troponin. I band contain only myosin filaments. Head of the myosin cross bridge have ATPS activity. Troponin have two globular structure. So if we, these are this is asking about the features of the myosin. So myosin basically has the it myosin head has the active or we say ATPase activity. 
which all the following bands remain unchanged during skeletal muscle contraction a band i band s zone m line or v line so a band is unchanged during the skeletal muscle contraction because a band contains both the myosin and nectin filament 66 says the basic defect in the myasthenia gravis is deficiency of acetylcholine stress as antibodies against acetylcholine defect at presynaptic terminal decrease acetylcholine receptors or increase neuromuscular transmission so the defect in myasthenia gravis is the decrease in acetylcholine receptors because the antibodies are targeted against the acetylcholine receptor although some students will also in the, also see the b option is the correct answer but it is not in this case because antibodies are not directed against the acetylcholine these are directed against the acetylcholine receptors that causes decrease in the acetylcholine receptors 67 says motor unit refers to a single muscle fiber which is in a, which its motor inlets a motor neuron in the muscle fiber that it supplies a group of muscular fibers innervating a muscle or neuron supplying a whole muscle muscle fibers of muscle only So motor unit refers to the motor, a single motor neuron that is supplying the muscle fiber. Function of T-tubules in skeletal muscle sarcotubular system is storage of calcium ion, release of calcium ion, inward transmission action potential, release of acetylcholine, or initiation of action potential. So basic function of T-tubules which are invagination of the sarcolemma that causes the inward transmission of the action potential deep in the muscle fiber. 69 says the energy system utilized by the muscle during an athletic event include aerobic metabolism, anaerobic metabolism, stored glycogen, stored ATP or lactic acid system. So it's asking about the muscle or the energy system that is utilized first. So first there is a usage of the utilization of the stored ATP. Then there is the body will turn towards the aerobic metabolism. Which all of muscle fiber does not respond when the muscle fiber does not respond to the subsequent stimuli, it is called A shows depolarization period, B shows titanic, B, C for refractory, isotonic or latent period. So this question shows that the, it is talking about the retractive period in which the, the muscle fiber is not respond, does not respond to any stimulus. The major source of calcium for the contraction of the skeletal muscle is from the ECF, cytosol, mitochondria, SER or intracellular fluid. The source of calcium from for the contraction of the muscle fiber is from the sarcoplasmic reticulum. 72 shows the following minerals involved in bone remodeling except calcium, magnesium, magnesium, sodium, or phosphorus. Since here we can see sodium is not involved in bone formation or bone remodeling. So moving toward question number 73, it is bit blurred because these are taken pictures in the examination hall that's why these are not clear as much so we can still see that the, it's talking about that the reabsorption of the calcium it's are talking that the reabsorption of the calcium is the indirect function of parathyroid hormone at which organ of the human body first one is the bone second is small intestine third is large intestine say fourth is kidney and fifth is liver So basically the parathyroid hormone causes the reabsorption of a calcium at small intestine. Because this is indirect function because the PPH activates the one hydroxylase enzyme that causes the hydroxylation of the 25 hydroxylase to form 125 dihydroxylase cholecalciferol, which is active form of vitamin D that causes the increased absorption of calcium from small intestine. 74 says the patient of a chronic renal failure in which function of the parathyroid hormone is disturbed and can cause hyperphosphatemia due to increase the absorption of phosphorus in the distal tubule, increase the excretion of phosphorus, increase absorption of calcium, increase absorption of calcium in the distal tubule, all of them. So there is a hyperphosphatemia which is the basic condition that is caused by the increased phosphate in the blood. Increased phosphate in the blood can be caused by increased absorption of the phosphorus. Calcitonin hormone mainly inhibitory effect on the, which cells? Osteoblasts, osteocytes, osteoclasts, osteoid, or bone lining cells. Calcitonin basically inhibits the osteoclast cells. 
which metabolic pathway does not involve the ATP synthesis muscular contraction, glycolysis, citric acid cycle, electron transport chain, HMP shunt, or none of them. Here we can see HMP shunt pathway is basically does not involve in providing the ATP for the muscular contraction. The preparatory phase of glycolysis is energy releasing phase, energy consuming phase, hexose chain formation phase. It occurs in anaerobic condition, all of the above. So the preparatory phase, in preparatory phase, there is a utilization of the energy that to cause the phosphorylation of the or separate level phosphorylation of the glucose molecule, or we can say another phase of protein. So they, it is called the energy consuming phase. Biochemical finding of Ostromalacia include decreased serum calcium, decreased serum alkaline phosphatase, decreased serum calcium, increased al alkaline phosphatase, increased serum calcium, and increased serum alkaline phosphatase, decreased serum calcium, and increased serum phosphatase, phosphate, both P and D. So in Ostromalacia, there is a decrease in the serum calcium, but there is an increase in the alkaline phosphatase enzyme which is due to the increase in the activity of osteoblast cells. <laughs> 79 cells which one of the following is a function of vitamin D. Lipid soluble which is not a function of vitamin D. Lipid soluble antioxidant in cell membranes, fast response to increase calcium absorption with no change in gene expression, slow response to increase absorption related to gene change in gene expression, regulation of differentiation of adipocytes, regulation of bone turnover. Function of antioxidant is basically antioxidant is not a function of a vitamin D. It is a function of vitamin E. So A is the correct answer. Here. A seven-year-old girl has complaints of weakness, bruising, and bleeding of gums. Diagnosed with the anemia has been suggested for vitamin C supplement intake. Which of the following enzymes is genetically defective in this patient? Hydroxylase, dehydrogenase, lysyl hydroxylase, lysyl oxidase, propylogen, peptidase, or amino proteinase. So there is a deficiency or the defect, defect in the enzyme that is called hydroxylase enzyme because the vitamin C is involved in the reducing iron ion or reducing iron into Fe2 plus that causes the reduction or hydroxylation of the proline and lysine to hydroxyproline and hydroxylysine by the enzyme hydroxyl, hydroxylase. A child is brought to the hospital find in lethargic. He has complained of swelling in abdomen and large liver was found on examination. Laboratory showed increased serum uric acid, hyperglycemia, lactic acidemia, hypoglycemia, lactic acidemia. There is no increase in blood glucose even after intravenous administration of glucagon. The enzyme deficient in this case is muscle phosphorylase, muscle phosphor liver phosphorylase, phosphorotokinase, glucose 6 phosphatase, glycogen synthesis. This is the case of this is diagnosis of the von Gierko disease that we have, or we say von Gierko syndrome that is basically type of type one of the glycogen storage disease in which there is a deficient or defect in function of the glucose six phosphatase enzyme. Moving question number eighty two, which vitamin increases the absorption of calcium and phosphate in the intestinal tract, leading to an increase in the calcium level on the blood. In the blood. Vitamin A, D, E, K, or C. As we know that the vitamin D is involved in absorption of the calcium ion. 33 shows osteopenia that is severe enough to cause deficient increase in the risk of fracture is hallmark of osteomyelitis, rickets, osteoporosis, osteomalacia, osteoarthritis. This is the exact definition taken from the Robin pathology and it's a definition of osteoporosis. Primary pathogenic abnormality with mechanical injury to articular cart is seen in osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, reactive arthritis, infectious arthritis, crystal injury arthritis. In osteoarthritis, there is mechanical injury to the articular cartilage due to primary or so we can say secondary causes. 85 says primary pathogenic abnormality in rheumatoid arthritis is mechanical injury to articular cartilage, infection, autoimmunity, crystals, and drug. Rheumatoid arthritis is well known for the auto because it is the autoimmune in origin in which uh, antibodies are directed against the articular cartilage. Fourth, this is collective agent organism is Treponema pallidium, Mycobacteria, Staphylococcus aureus, Rumanas, Kiles bila. So fourth, fourth disease is basically the caused by the Mycobacterium, which is also 
for this is also called also type of the osteomyelitis the reaction to affect it begins with inflammations of callus heart callus remodeling of bone or organizing hematomas so when there is a fracture first one is the organizing hematoma then there is an inflammation soft callus formation then there is a hard callus formation and the, in last there is a remodeling of the bone deficiency of vitamin d increase the risk of rickets osteomalacia osteoporosis effect in growth plate or decrease mineralization of cartilage there are two forms of vitamin d deficiency states these are rickets and osteomalacia but the rickets is basically the most commonly seen in the children it is due to the decrease in the mineralization of the bones while in osteomalacia there is a increase in destruction of the or we say increase in the destruction or of the bone and uh, it ion leading to hypercalcemia in the blood so 89 says process of adding vitamin d in the milk to boost their nutritional value and benefit for health is called food adult adulteration food fortic fortification food supplement food enrichment or food additive it is called food fortification which of the following is that is recommended to prevent back pain stress Which type of desk is recommended to prevent back pain stress? Postural defect among school children. Minus desk, plus desk, zero desk, simple desk, computer desk. So minus desk is recommended to prevent the type of abnormalities. 91 says the neuromuscular blocker that acts as nicotinic agonist and depolarizes the neuromuscular end plate is called mevacurium, succinylcholine, rocuronium or vicuronium, pancuronium. So the depolarizing neuromuscular blockers are called include the succinylcholine. Which neuromuscular blocker is most likely to cause hyperkalemia in patient with burns and spinal cord spinal cord injury? Mevacurium, etalcurium, virocurium, pancurium, succinylcholine. So hyperkalemia as well as burns and the spinal cord injury is side effect of succinylcholine. So at 93 says a 20 year old boy is worried about the short height with which part of the bone is responsible for growth or height of the person. Metaphysis, diaphysis, periosteum, endosteum, epiphysis. The region which is basically responsible for the growth of the bone or which grows in the height is called a metaphysis because metaphysis contains the epiphysal plate. 94 so shows that the bones of the skull wall are derived from which of the portion of the abdominal skull. Cartilaginous neurocranium, membranous neurocranium, cartilaginous visrocranium, membranous visrocranium, or brachial or brachial cartilage. Bones of the skull wall are derived from the membranous neurocranium. Muscle of eye or iris developed from which of the layer of germ layer? Neural plate, ectoderm, surface ectoderm. So mesoderm, neural pair cells, or endoderm. So muscle of the eye and iris are basically the accepted exceptional in the muscle that are developed directly from the surface ectoderm. While other, while the mo most or we say all of the muscles of the body are developed from the mesoderm. Ninety-six shows a newborn baby present in the clinic with absence of right upper limb amelia as congenital abnormality. Which of the following abnormality? The embryological source gave origin to limb bud. Ectoderm, endoderm, neural carcel, parietal layer of lateral plate, mesoderm, visceral layer of lateral plate. Limb bud is basically visible on the fourth week of the development on the end ventral lateral part of the or ventral lateral surface of the body. These are directly developed from the parietal layer of lateral plate. So teratogenic limb deformities are most commonly seen which of which period of development. This is the same question that is repeated here and it includes the fourth and fifth week. A newborn was brought to the pediatric surgeon with defect in vertebra of spina bifida. Which of the following neurological source vertebra is developing? Somite, parietal mesoderm, neural crest, sclerotoma somite, or dermomyotoma somite. So vertebra is basically developed from the somite, but more specifically, these are developed from the part of the somite which are called sclerotoma. So D is the correct answer. All of the following contribute to the development of the head and neck vasculature except 
somite, somitomeres, paraxian mesoderms, ectoderm, endoderm. So somites are not involved in the development of head and neck musculature because while the somitomere they, they are total in seven and number are involved. So this is the last question which says a baby was brought to the plastic surgeon with a fuel finger in dactyly. Normally fingers are formed by the cell death in which other part of the limb. Hand plate, limb bud, apical ectodermal ridge, epiphytic mesoderm. So basically there, is, there are the apoptosis in the part of the apical ectodermal ridge that causes the formation of the individual phalanx in the human body during so this was the last question of this locomotor module we have completed a total of 100 questions in this lo locomotor module test so each and every question was discussed with the explanation if you have any query you can contact us on email our email that was provided in the link so we are working on our facebook page as well as on official web page you can visit our official web page on www.mbbsonlinelecture.weebly.com There there is no cost free they, which is free of cost you can download lecture like osmosis canum video lectures their concise notes quizzes that requires no login and they are free to access so thank you for watching we'll see you next video